The Goodwill pricing structure just changed again. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Well, I'll give you my ideas on it. Let me explain how it works. Now, everything in the store has a minimum price. Electronic items can't be less than $6, but they can be more. If it's worth more than 6 bucks, then they add a sticker to it. I've been shopping at thrift stores my whole life, but I'll tell you the last couple years, I've barely bought anything there. Let's take jeans, for example. I can go to a normal store and buy jeans cheaper than I can at the Goodwill store. I can get them $10 any day of the week. Sometimes they go on sale for eight bucks. And these are brand new jeans that fit perfect. If I'm gonna go through the racks at Goodwill, at least I want a good deal. I had these jeans tear. I took them back to the store. They gave me a new pair. I had jeans tear from the thrift store. Oh well. For me to go anywhere except a thrift store is just unheard of. But now the Goodwill costs as much as the regular stores, if not more. So I start digging through the electronic stuff. Here's an electronic corkscrew. Minimum six bucks. Now this thing, when it's new, is like 30 bucks. Now it's got recharge batteries inside. I can tell it spins a little weak. Maybe if I plug it in for eight hours, it'll be okay. If I just buy it, I take a chance. And of course, you can't return it. It used to be that the price was so low, you could take that chance. Goodwill is quite a sophisticated business now. If the donations are actually worth a lot of money, they don't put them in the store. They go online. They basically created their own now, eBay. Now, if you're real careful and you know your prices, you might still get a good deal at the Goodwill store. But don't just assume because it's at the Goodwill store that it's a good deal. Now, if you're looking to save the earth, buying secondhand items can help. But if you're looking to get a good deal, you better be on your toes. Here's a category. Floral and wicker, three bucks. Unless they're marked higher. A lot of those items look like three bucks at the normal store. But if you really know what you're looking for, you might be able to beat the regular store. Chances are you'll have to Google every item, just like they may have. You might be wondering how much the CEO of Goodwill makes. 2.3 million a year. Pretty good business. People bring stuff right to your store, free? And I understand that there's costs. Employees, rent, I get but it. But when this used stuff costs more than new stuff, it kind of takes the fun out of getting a good deal. And when you know all their good stuff is already put on their website, it's a little discouraging. Now, I'm not saying I'm never going to go into another Goodwill store again. I was digging around. I found this carpet. It's a little dirty. It could be scrubbed. 15 bucks. It's cheaper than Target. It'd be about 45 bucks there. Even though it needs cleaned up, this one's cheaper than a new one. I'll scrub this one up just like I do the others. So it still is possible to find a good deal at the thrift store. You just may have to work a little harder at it. Maybe this is a sign that inflation really is going up. Lately, I've been finding a lot of good deals at the discount stores. You just got to stay flexible.